James, you're heading for the uh, Europa mm -hmm. and a, ma a match uh, about with Maxi Hughes. And obviously it's a very significant bout for you. Tell me about that bout and how significant it can be if and when you win. Uh, well, yes, you hit the nail on the head. As a massive fight for me, it probably is the biggest fight of my career. Um, if I win, they can skyrocket me through the British rankings and lead me towards a possible shot at the British title itself. Um, British title has always been a goal of mine. Um, if I win this fight, yeah, it'd be phenomenal. Uh, my career will shoot sky high. Can't wait, so I'm putting everything in this fight. I'm currently the headline of the, of the show itself. Me and Maxi, um, I'm sure he's putting in hard trains. I know I'm putting in double the amount too, so yeah, it's going to be a hell of a fight for me. We're talking about your career can skyrocket, you know, but obviously you have Maxi Hughes and uh, an experienced boxer. This fella is not coming into Belfast just to be uh, to be rolled over and uh, put away. Yeah, no, Maxi's not coming over to be a punch bag. Um, he's sure he's training hard. Um, he's a smooth, slick operator, southpaw, so uh, he's going to be a tricky opponent. Um, he's great experience. I'm not sure he has 18 fights. He's Two losses have came from a current lightweight British champion, and the second defeat came from a controversial, a controversial draw with Martin J. Ward. And in the rematch, he had to retire with a badly damaged nose. So he's been out with good fighters, and uh, he's held his own. So I'm expecting a tough, durable opponent, and I'm expecting to go to 10 rounds. I know we said at the start, and I hate to repeat myself, but this is massive for you. A victory here, British title shot, that is really very very special ah, it's, it's special indeed um, Mark's worked ever so hard to give me the, the chance I have right now so I'm putting I'm making sure I'm putting in the effort so that I don't let him down let myself down um, I know if I could beat Maxi uh, I will have a really good shoe on my foot so I'm really putting in the effort for this one you yeah. talk about the efforts that Mark's doing I'm looking at your, your short as well too obviously McLean's the headline act yeah. on, on the uh, short but so many sponsors so clearly yeah. this man is working and trying to work every avenue to ensure that you're looked after for the future yeah definitely Mark uh, 110% every time uh, as you can see from the many sponsors uh, he has everyone well let's say tortured but let's say he has everyone no it is torture well, no, but <laughs> <laughs> he has everyone ask can we get behind us because he puts great faith in us uh, me, Halo, Tyson, Fitzpatrick so on and so forth he puts that much into us so in return to him we try to give our everything in the ring um, without, him, without Mark and without our sponsors and coaches we wouldn't be where we are so it's up to us to put the effort in and win our fights you look in great shape uh, you know you're clearly working very hard for this crap yeah I am uh, to be honest, I'm doing two sessions a day, uh, really looking at them at that. Um, it's hard we've at the minute because I'm working full time. It's hard trying to fit into two sessions, but uh, if it has to be done, you know, we can't turn around in the middle of the ring and be like, I'm tired, and turn around and say, well, you didn't do that last session after work. So I'm making sure I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, look what I tell you, people listening in there, you threw away that line there, you're, you're working full time as well as doing this. Yeah, How I, difficult is that? Uh, extremely. Uh, see when you're lying busted after work, you just want to crawl in the bed and you have to go out and do your road work or go and do your sparring or your bags and you just feel depleted but you know when you're resting he's training so that's just the motivation you need to get up and do it. Well the ultimate aim to be able to get into some sort of a pro contract where you wouldn't have to do that as well? It'd be great. Uh, as I says, I'd be great if I didn't have to work full time. I was able to be paid to train. I'd be, I'd be a godsend. But unfortunately, at the minute, I don't have that opportunity. So that's why I'm putting it all in now. So God spurs one day, someone will be able to turn around and say, "Here, I'll pay you full time ways to train." But at the minute, needs a needs are a must. So just have to get on with it. One thing about the Belfast fan, the Northern Ireland fan, they know they're boxing, and uh, the Europa's heading for a. a a full house, signs up. It's going to be some scrap for you and Maxi Hughes. Yes, it's going to be a great fight. Even not even my fight alone, even the undercard. We've got a potential British champion, James Tyson, another potential British champion, Paul Hayland, uh, another Commonwealth silver medalist, Joe Fitzpatrick, uh, with a Cold Island prospect for McCrory and a uh, Derry man, London Derry, uh, Troy McCulloch. So <coughs> the show, even without me, is still going to be a sellout. So 
this in my head line will be a wee bit of a cherry on top of IKEA because you're getting built up with such good fitters that a big massive fit towards the end of the build is going to be supreme.